Hello, this is Lee Gerstmann. I decided to do my take on when I went to see Ace Frehley at Sam Ash. I don't have a record player, but I ordered the album, pre-ordered it because he would be there to sign it. And I figured it would be a good way to go and meet him and have him sign the album. And I also had music that I wanted to give him. I'll keep this short because I want to get mostly into the facts of what happened and a little bit of an, an opinion. I went there and arrived around 12.30ish. The line was pretty long, much longer than I would have wanted, but that's to be expected because he's a very well-known musician. And so, Time rolled on a lot, and finally, after four o'clock, I went in. I first had to get a sandwich and a cup of coffee in order to have enough energy to continue being in line because the weather was cold and it was hard for me to stand out there that long. And I found out that he had taken a couple of breaks. So that made things longer. But finally I went in, I got the album, stood in line, and when it was my turn, they gave him the album to sign, which he signed, and I said hello to him, and he did not respond, and then I said hello again, and he did not respond, and then I mentioned that I had saw him on the Dynasty Tour long ago, and he nodded, and that was the only kind of response that I got from him. So that meant he heard me, but he chose to not interact or engage other than simply signing the album. And I had some CDs of my music that I wanted to give him. So I mentioned that, and I did not get any response. He was signing someone else's album at that point, but Laura, his mate, she said, okay, and I gave her the CDs, and she was cool. She was nice, and so was another fellow who I don't know who he was, but he was there too, and he was also nice. And I asked Ace if I could take a selfie with him, and I still did not get any response. And Laura and the other guy said yes. So I was able to snap a picture which has me and Ace in the picture, but it looks like someone who barges in on someone in the middle of something and takes a picture so that he and the other person can be in the picture. It does not look like a selfie of two people who know each other or even agree to be in the selfie. But that was as good as I would get because he was not looking up. He was not saying anything to me and 
from what I understand, he was not saying anything to most people. Maybe someone he might have said, oh, or he might have done a fist bump occasionally. I'm assuming probably early on when it was the first hour and he was not so completely involved in so many people coming, he might have responded a tiny bit. But from what I understand, he wasn't engaging in communicating with anybody. He was simply signing albums. So what do I think? I think that it was mostly not worth it if you want to meet him because you're not really meeting him. You're in the same room with him, but he's not saying anything to you or regarding you whatsoever. His mate, Laura, it would be worth it to talk with her because she was nice. And I would think that if I had had a selfie with her, it would have been better, or maybe even the guy who was there with them. But overall, other than the signed album, I don't think it was worth the time. But at least I got the album. It was signed. So if you're a collector who wanted to wait for many hours to get an album signed, you got it. Otherwise, I would say, I, I didn't think it was worth it. Anyway, take care. Bye.